Oh. Welcome back to Shattered Crystal. So, yeah, now let's uh, go back to Seaside Jungle, Act 2, or Zone Again. 2. Again. And, and like, oh, oh no, oh no, the game froze. Oh no, oh, never mind then. <laughs> Seriously, what is up with this loading screen? They can't even loading look... screen shouldn't freeze. Yeah, what the fuck is up with that? Not especially after the PS1 a... error, anyway. Especially a 3DS one, although I guess loading stuff. And at least it's just in the loading streams, it's like in the entire frame. So yeah, <laughs> another thing that you'll notice everybody is that in this game everybody has the homing attack. Uh, I don't know, I kinda I kind of liked it when uh, the homing attack was a Sonic only ability, helped to separate him from the rest of the gang, I don't know. Everyone can do the homing attack, I thought sticks... Oh, well, fine, 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 uh, Sonic and Shadow, then. Uh-huh. Well then again, Shadow has always been um, a Sonic reskin, uh, gameplay-wise. <laughs> to think, originally in Sonic Adventure 2, it wasn't supposed to be Shadow, but more of a Blaze-esque character. Oh yeah, I forgot, yeah, Blaze in Sonic 06, yeah, she also does have kind of a homing attack, even though <laughs> it works a bit differently. Blaze in 06. Oh yeah, that too, yeah. But yeah, but, but, Well then but again, Blaze, the it was, uh, again, Blaze, just like Shadow from the beginning, was also kind of a Sonic reskin in R Rush, so I guess it again makes sense, I guess. It made sense in Rush because she's literally Sonic from another dimension. Mm-hmm. Basically, I'm trying to abuse of the, uh, I'm trying to abuse Sonic's to ability to, to see if I can. Yeah, some... People like her so much. Yeah. Anyhow, I'm gonna. What Knuckles should have been. Eh, I thought Knuckles in um, in, so in, SA, in Sonic in Sonic and Sonic Three was fine. It's just that. Um, oh yeah, yeah, yeah that, he was fine there, but then after. That his, his character just slowly um, was forgotten. Oh, his character was fine in the adventure days and heck, even heroes. No, no, no. It's Bio 6 where they pretty much threw out almost everything having to do from out the window. And while his well, character they did that with Blaze, gotten... too, in the same game. Well, not just that. It's not just oh, that, that's though. 06 for you, Shiroi. It's not just that, though. I mean, not, not, I'm not just talking in terms of writing and personality. I'm talking about in terms of gameplay. Who the hell was it? Who the hell fought? Uh, the, who the hell looked at Knuckles and thought, yep, let's make this guy a treasure hunter, because apparently being a soul guardian of the Master Emerald and doomed to a fate of, uh, you know, never leaving the island is apparently prop for treasure hunting. What? How can made... he be a treasure hunter if he can't leave the island? <laughs> it made sense in the adventure games because this treasure hunting mainly had to do with finding pieces of the yeah, Master Yeah, yeah, but, but it doesn't make any sense in um, in the OVA, and it didn't make any sense in uh, free oh, in, the the, in, in, in Rider Zero Gravity, where he flat out says, it's a common ruin between us treasure hunters. But since when were you a treasure hunter? How does that... Uh, I mean, it makes actually, sense for Rouge to be a treasure hunter, but not Knuckles. I mean, okay, see, actually, like Jova just said. Knuckles has been a treasure hunter since Sonic Heroes, as established in the manual and whatnot. Yeah, but that's the thing, like I've said, like uh, in, in, like you said, Jova, in the adventure games, he wasn't doing it for, because he wanted, he wasn't doing it because he had to, because to save the Master Emerald. But, but it doesn't make any sense for him to now actually be a treasure hunter um, on the side, because he's supposed to not have any side, he's supposed to be a lone warrior who, like, that's what Sonic Adventure 1 established, I'll probably be in this floating island forever. Yeah, like, exactly. So, you know, so basically his entire backstory is now completely fucked in the anus. Well... It's not completely screwed, but, um, you know what I like that the comics did? The comics actually explained that he has someone watching over it for him. You know, well, I love yeah, that but that's a comic, so that doesn't count for the games. I said that, I said that's a thing I like that the comics do. Yeah. To me, I'm just they gonna would've, go some... would have been able. They would have been able to tie it into the games if they knew what they were doing, because there was a whole lot of, um, spiritual ancestor stuff in, um, the adventure game. I'm just gonna go with some comedy Johnny saying assume that Knuckles has some kind of robotic watchdog <laughs> at this point. I just wish we would have and actually seen that. Gonna <laughs> sure. Anyway, you know everybody... Oh, oh go, go ahead. No, no, go ahead. I was, I was just gonna say, I mean, in terms of Sonic characters, like prominent ones, aside from Eggman, the only person who hasn't really had his character ruined is Tails. They just don't do anything with him. Well, that's the they main reason. Well, well, the main reason they for ruined that. ruined him. Well, they well, just well, haven't well, done anything with him. Well, the main reason is because in Sonic Adventure One, of course, they kind of solved this character arc that started in Sonic Event in Sonic Two, where he was he wanted to be just like Sonic, but then after Sonic Event after in Sonic Adventure One, where he became his own hero and his uh, independently of Sonic, he gained his independence. Uh, but after that, the the writers after that you can tell the writers didn't know what the hell to do with him, so they just made him the boring guy who does exposition. Uh, because yeah. you know, because you know, he's smart. 
Um, it was only up until Colors that they bothered to try to give him more of a personality. The problem there... Okay, my problem with this uh, personality in Colors is that, uh, like, uh, like Roger and Luke pointed out very well in their Sonic Dissected series, um, it doesn't make sense. F uh, the way he's... I, I, we're glad that they're trying to make them more of a personality, but... It's the wrong kind of personality when you think about it, because let's think about this. Every time um, Sonic is trying, oh look, I absorbed these aliens and got the powered up energy, and, and Tails is like, um, uh, why? I find that hard to believe. And as Luke pointed out, and very well, why is why is Tails like acting like Agent Scully in this game? Uh, I mean, it's, uh, Son uh, this is a universe that has never been subtle and it is full of gods and weird beings. What exactly makes you makes it hard for you to believe that aliens give him give Sonic energy? I mean, it. Uh, it just feels... It, 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 but then again, that of course, that's the, that's the usual thing that Ponta can graph they don't, haven't even bothered to do their research. Well, that's the thing. I mean, in their own words, they said that they don't know the franchise. They did yeah. the research on Wikipedia and they don't and it really shows. care much for the franchise. Guys. And it show, and that, that that goes to show how much Sega, at least back then, did not care. I mean, let's bring in writer. Shall we bring in writers who are fans, or at least at want to try to do things properly? You know, let's get these guys who have no interest in the series in general, because because. And I know a lot of people say that you shouldn't get fans involved with the actual works, but I think the Sonic series needs it. I don't, really, I don't even understand where that logic came from exactly. I mean, Jason Siegel is one of the biggest Muppets fans you'll find, and he made the 2011 Muppets movie, and that movie is the best Muppets movie ever made, so... I don't get the logic either. I mean, I disprove it all the time. I mean, don't get, well, I'm not saying I'm not saying it's a foolproof plan. Yes, of course it can fail, but uh, if you know what, if 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 the, if the if the fan involved knows what he's doing, I mean, Ian Flynn, who's the guy the, the guy who writes uh, the comics nowadays, he's a huge fan of the series, and that's why a, a, a lot of people like the comics nowadays, uh, because it's the only facet of the franchise where the characters have actually retained their original personalities. Anyway, to get back into this game. Um, yeah, we're still exploring the... Shiro, it remind me again why you actually used to like this game. Shiro? Oh, never mind. Oh, um, no, 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 it seems harmless at the time. <laughs> No, no, and I remember you specifically saying, and I'm quoting, right after you had that wonderful moment where I fell for the ground and rise of lyric, you said, and I'm <laughs> and I'm quoting here, I'll keep the vending shadowed crystal, goddammit. I said a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you said that one thing. I know, trust me, I have video proof of that. I know, and I regret it. <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah, basically, just keep exp that, that's pretty much all the, all the levels, every level is the same thing, basically. Uh, explore and find trinkets. That's it. There's no gimmicks, there's no special gimmicks in between each level. There's nothing done to differentiate each level from the other. Every uh, every level is basically the same thing, with just with new textures added onto it. Depending on whether or not it's an ice world, or a fire world, or a jungle world, or... Yeah. And so far, honestly, the final rest to me, so, uh, gameplay-wise, honestly, so far, it looks, just looks like to me this this exact same thing, just with uh, trink trink trinkets removed and uh, fire nice power-ups added on top, honestly. Mm -hmm. uh, this game is so boring that I don't even know what to talk about. Oh, that, never mind. We just <laughs> never mind. We just we just found the exit. Yay! But now we got to sit through um, terrible dialogue. Wonderful. Yeah, those character models look so bad up close. <laughs> That's another thing. The graphics in this game are are below 3DS standards, honestly. There are so many much better looking 3DS games. Oh no, I, oh. Again. I keep thinking this game is going to freeze on me. <laughs> It's pretty shameful because on one hand you have amazing CGI oh, well, cutscenes of this game and then I guess you get I'll, the rest of it. I guess I'll do both in the meantime. Six, I got some good news and some bad news. Bad mm -hmm. news? You mean like world peace and end to an hunger and universal healthcare? Who is Six in this? Uh, Jova. Ah. Well, that would essentially be good news. Not if it was actually a plot by Ladybug overlords to lull us into complacency so they could eat our brains. 
Okay, okay, you know, this whole... This whole paranoid thing they have going with sticks uh, in, in the Boom franchise, honestly, I never understood why this is supposed to be funny. Evil Ladybug Overlords! Uh. It's not as funniest in the TV show, but even then, it only... It, it's only... Um, a good thing in um in minority of cases. The problem is that that joke gets old really really fast. <laughs> it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, evil snakes make way better boots than evil ladybugs, and Amy loves boots. I'm coming, Amy. Yeah, typical Pontekin graph. The characters have no sense of urgency or even realize what the hell is going on. They're very good at writing characters that don't. Well, yeah, well, yeah, the, the, their best work is for Happy Tree Friends, which is purely visual humor. Yep. <laughs> anyway, yeah, another token. To get another one of these... Yeah, the Sega logo. Uh, too bad I don't care. Alright, let's see where we go now. Sixboro. Basically, Sticksboro is it where you can actually take a look at the shattered crystal of the, uh, the, that where the game gets its title from. Basically, any sh any shattered crystal uh, trinkets you find over the course of the levels, you can back here to, and uh, you will need to rebuild yeah. the entire crystal in order to s complete the game 100% and see that extra thingy. <coughs> hey, Jova. Hey, is that all you need to do to see the to see the you, extra thing? You missed the tales. You missed the the, the second seaside jungle level. Uh, you, what did you say, Shirei? Did I miss any cutscenes? Uh, you missed, yes. Don't worry, I covered for you. Shoot, was it the one with sticks? The one, the one with tails and sticks, yes. Dang. Oh wow. No, and what you're... I was saying was, is it only the crystal shards you need to get to get the extra stuff? I never bought. No, 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 I, no, no. I, I also need the um, the gear thingies. You know, the one, the the, the, the blue panel gear yeah, thingies. Yeah. I don't. Anyway, yeah, worm. This is the first worm tunnel level, which are also confirmed to be back in Paranice. Basically, this is how, this is these are basically the max speed zones of this game. Basically, you're always running forward and you can boost. It's all. However, these are fine enough. Uh, you can just keep. Yeah, sorry about that. Hold on. <laughs> Let me guess. Uh, soccer game. No, no, it's not that. It's um, Nina doesn't like this game either. Um, anyway. Uh, yeah, basically you have to dodge obstacles, you can boost, and you can dis use your inner beam to uh, grab this thingy here. Um, I know they're not the most interesting things in the world, but the demo and the game, I quite like them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, these are I'm some. With them. Yeah, these are the least offensive parts of the game to me. They're fast, and uh, the problem is that uh, all the levels are pretty much the same. Like, they don't even increase all that much in terms of difficulty, at least for me. So, honestly, after the third time I did them, I kind of got tired of them, too. Because it's every every worm tunnel is always the same basic thing. Just dodge stuff and keep boosting. Well, hopefully fire and ice improves on that. Well, from what mm -hmm. we've seen in the footage, it looks pretty much the same, honestly. Uh, well, actually, well, they just I actually haven't some seen alteration. any footage, so... From what I've seen, there seems to be some alterations, so they're at least trying to keep it from not being the same old plain boring thing. All right. Uh, basically, all will be revealed when we get to the final product. But so far, Fire and Ice is giving me better. Pretty disappointing about these, but I'll hold off until we get to it. Sure. Oh Any yeah. It's anyway, the basically, the, uh, audience, uh, beat beat all of these worm tunnels because each worm tunnel is worth one medal. So obviously, they will help you unlock stuff. Uh, Levels specifically. <laughs> and there we go. Yep. You go right in and. That's the end Boom. of the level. What was disappointing to me was... Like, uh, I expected, like, I expected a sort of mini-boss fight, but that that never happened. That would have been kind of cool, but no. Yeah. Because that thing is There's way only... too big to be a normal mook. The, the, bosses, the bosses in this game are either uh, racing bosses or um, stuff like... Um, or, or the final boss, actually, yeah. Only the final boss is... Uh, um, about beating the boss. Uh, the others are only races. Yeah, that's another issue with this game, which Fire and Ice definitely seems to have fixed, showing us like they actually have a typical boss. Thank God. Okay, apparently it's still not in this part that I show off the comic, but don't, but don't worry, I'm pretty sure I show it off in some part. I just forgot, I, I just forgot which specific part I do. 
Actually, I think have I, we ever... I, actually, do I shoot off in the do I shoot off in the finale part? I, I don't know. I'll, I'll look it up later. Mm. Anyway, all right, go ahead, Jopa. Your sticks. Oh, then again, it's a Jopa show now. <laughs> sticks? You can't just go running into danger without a plan, a direction, or a clue. Why not? <clears throat> because. Because that's what I do. Well, how nice. Plans are for the weak. Impulsive hysteric action is what's gonna save Amy. He real heroes that's don't right. need plans, right, guys? Do you even know where to look? Let's just charge in, oh, guns blazing. A trail of broken lyric robots, and we can't go wrong. Huh. I don't see any broken lyric robots. No. Me either. That's why I'm gonna make some. <laughs> now you're talking sense. Is she? I'll admit I do. Oh. There's no time to talk sense. I've got to rescue Amy. Okay, Sticks is better than this. I mean, come on. Sticks, wait. And again, and it's Shattered Crystal I'm talking about. I mean, really? You wouldn't be able to tell any of these characters really have character just off of this game. No, each character, each, in this game, each character is given one character trait, and that one character trait is exaggerated, exaggerated ad nauseum. Such a shame, because Sticks in the TV series is such a great new addition, so much that um, she's actually welcome in the main series, it seems, going off of the Olympic Games. That seems to be a, a common thing with the writers, I mean, the characters in Lost were original too, for the most mm -hmm. part. Anyway, this that. is a racing. Uh, basically, uh, it, much like um, the races in um, Sonic Generations 3DS, it's all about uh, g reaching the goal before uh, your opponent does. So basically, oh, Sonic Rivals. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. I barely played those games. I played the first one and I didn't like it, so I kind of quit. I, I did see. I have not been able to find a single I'd... romp the first one for some reason, but the. Second one, oh, that's the one everyone remembers. I did see, I did see Clements Let's Plays of both games, however, so I do know the storylines of those. Uh, they're pretty much, uh, they're, they're pretty much Sonic Adventure style plot lines with various. Like, there's one where they even fight fucking Ifrit. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I like. Rivals I played too. those games a lot because I travel a lot, so yeah. most experience with those. I'm still yeah. uh, and uh, I and I love how um, how that was the th that was those were the games that um, created the confusion about Eggman Nega's backstory. Is he supposed to be a descendant of Eggman, or or does he come from uh, Blaze's dimension? Pick and now it's been exified. He's both. Theme. So you're creating backstories and going back on them for a stupid reason. Yeah, the good news is that nowadays it's been clarified. He's uh, Eggman's descendant who happened to get into Blaze's dimension. That was what was established in Rush, right? In Rush, it was established that he was the Eggman of Blaze's, uni Blaze's dimension. Oh. Anyway, I won. Uh, that 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 doesn't look good. Sorry. <laughs> I choose it. Anyway, yeah, that's done. It uh, cutscene time. If the load, if the load time would not freeze, thank you. And it's not really freezing; it's just loading and doing that stuff. It looks like it's cycling between the animations. My boomerang stuck inside one of those stupid robots. Mm -hmm. I say the first half of the loading screen is um, trying to load the second half. <laughs> I can help you get it out. It's really jammed in this robot, or is it gears? Is that the medical team? Oh, yeah, but I'm uh, sorry, by the way, I'll be Lyric since you have one more character than me. So, so to even that out, I'll be Lyric. There we go. Wow, what's really in there? Or you can mean, pull I it get out to yourself. be Shadow. <laughs> Do you want to be Shadow? Actually, the job is uh, Shadow. I don't, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to put myself playing Shadow because I'm afraid of, um, you know, pissing off certain sensitive people. Eh? You know, Putting a you know put a, you know putting a white person playing a, a a black character, you know you know people are sensitive about these things, so I don't want to I want to <laughs> cover I want to cover my I want to cover my ass. Anyway, go ahead, Shirai. Oh, um, Amy. Okay, 
Uh, another clue. On my way to the scrapyard, meet up with Knuckles. Group hug for me, myself, and I. I okay. Uh, yeah, guys, whenever you're in trouble with something, doesn't it? The, what's the first thing you think about? Getting out of that gem, uh, asking for help, or group hug? Uh, I forget. Wasn't this like a tr string of clues leaving or something? I, I don't know. We well, yeah, right. group hug because the. All right, everybody. In the next part, we move on to the next world. So see you then.